Hi, my name is Danesia Barnes of Salon Joyer, and I will be bringing to you a silk press testimonial with service. All right, so it is yeah. hair washing day today, and um, the last time I had my hair washed was about a month and a couple of days ago. I got the silk press by CJ. So I'm coming in, letting you know that this is me uh, doing another hair wash and getting ready to be silk pressed but my press that i previous had had for about one mo month ago it looks like this there's no puffiness there's no nappiness nothing my hair still looks first i really don't know why i'm getting it done but i still need to get my hair treated and washed but other than that this is me this is how long the silk presses last. I took care of it, I wrapped it, I didn't put any heat towards it. I slept in my bunny and a scarf. I made sure that water did not hit it, so I was able to um, protect my hair even when I'm in the shower, away from steam, make sure I wore, I wore my raincoat when it was raining, and these are the results. Still the same. When I first got it done, just need to get a wash make sure I'm doing my part all right here we go so I'm going in with the blow dryer notice that I have the blow dryer turned sideways so that I don't direct the heat at the client's scalp um, I also blow dry from left to right on one side of the parted area and then for every small section about an inch wide I blow dry the opposite direction to make sure that I dry the hair in the center of the parted section and that's that's I definitely do this I do it for everybody but I especially do it for my clients who have thicker and longer hair and I am using my pick attachment and as you see you can see I'm also using my heat resistant comb to give her hair that extra smoothness I try to get the hair as straight as possible before I go in with the flat iron for this portion, I remove the shampoo cape and the wet towel. I keep the wet towel on so that any water that drains off of the client is caught by the towel and I replace it with a single use cape. All capes are single use. As soon as this one is done, it goes to the laundry and the next client gets their own cape. It keeps me from having to use a neck strip because the clients tend to find it itchy. Here's a little tip. Always dry your hands before using your blow dryer. At least I like to dry my hands and wipe any product residue from my hands before I grab my blow dryer because it tends to make it slippery. And as much money as we spend on these blow dryers, you wanna make sure that it does not slip out of your hand and fall to the floor. Here you will notice me holding the hair taut while I run the blow dryer through the hair. This is my quick way of pre-stretching the hair. I don't like when I'm blow drying and the blow dryer is stretching the hair and then the hair coils back up and then it's pulling the hair out a second time. In my opinion, that causes a little unnecessary distress to the hair. So to keep from having to do too much manipulation and putting any unnecessary stress on the hair, I pre-stretch the hair before I go in and smooth the hair out with the blow dryer. So once I'm done blow drying the hair with the heat, I go back through a second time with the cold setting in order to close the cuticles on the hair prior to applying my silkening serum. So prior to the blow dry, I use a thermal protector and then right before the flat iron, I use a very light thermal protector that is also a sealant for the cuticles. And this is what helps the press last a little longer than the two weeks. And now I'm just giving it a quick comb through to make sure that the serum is thoroughly distributed through the hair. 
Oftentimes, people ask me, why do I wear gloves when I'm working on their hair? When it comes to the blow drying, actually starting with the shampoo all the way through to the end of the service, I wear gloves because they protect my hand from the heat. They protect my hands from the heat of the blow dryer and from the heat of the flat iron. The gloves also protect my hands from drying out with all the shampooing. It protects my skin from all of the exposure to chemicals and products. And it protects my nails so that my color street nails last longer. By the way, don't forget to check me out at Nails by Joyer. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook. Whether I'm doing curls or if I'm pressing the hair bone straight, I make such an effort to get the hair as straight as possible during the blow dry so that I can create either a straight, sleek look or curls with one pass of the flat irons. It goes a long way to protect the hair from heat damage. Thank you for watching. You can book your next silk press online by visiting salonjoyer.com. Also follow Salon Joyer on Instagram, Facebook, Google, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be blessed, stay safe, until next time.